All right, the last letter is E. Did you hear? Give the great text to it's me. Sore loose. Oh, wait, I throw it to the ground. Quickly, to the basement. The basement? It has a safe room. Now this, this is a quest about like how you're supposed to like stalk him, you're supposed to go around the mansion and grab all the stuff and send it down. Remember that contraption? That's the start of his Bastille. Da Vinci's Bastille, if I am correct. Robert, do you know who that was? I can't be certain, but I believe he's the one who killed Sister Sandrine. Obviously he's interested in you now. And he specifically wants the cryptex. This won't do at all. Is there a way out of here? It doesn't go through him? Well, if he's found you here, he obviously is resourceful. Someone will have to go out there and knock him out. I'll do it. Don't be ridiculous. You are in no condition to fight that monster. I doubt very much you could knock him unconscious, Miss Naboo. That's not true. I'm you know that. <laughs> Perhaps if we had some sort of weapon. Ah, yes. Do you have a gun? I'm a good shot with a pistol. No, nothing quite so barbaric. Take a look at this. Da Vinci's drawing of a ballista? You don't have that, do you? What did I tell you? I'm afraid I don't have all of one, but I do have the frame right here. What good is that if it does not work? Well, it occurred to me that we might be able to make it work with some of the artifacts I have upstairs. Remy is something of an engineer in his spare time. Very true. What do you have upstairs that would make it work? Why, the other pieces of the ballista. A unique properties to each piece, and I was studying them in different rooms of the house. They are, most unfortunately, scattered about and quite heavy. Then I will get in for us. That's very brave, Sophie, but I really think I should go with you. If you insist, Robert, but let me handle moving the large pieces. A good gust of wind could pull you over right now. If you insist, my lady. Don't be a knight. Miss Naboo, do be careful. I doubt very much that Robert will be more than a distraction for this giant of a man, but Robert does have the cryptex, and that's the only thing this lunatic seems to want. If Robert should get into trouble, use a mace or a fire poker. Whatever you can find to stop that monster from killing Mr. Langdon. We still need him if you want to find out where the cryptex is. Don't worry. I won't leave Robert to die. We'll get through this, Sir TV. I mean, Sir B. Together, or not at all? Sophie, let's go. I don't see him out there. So. Now my control is being a douche. One second. Come on! Stop being a douchebag! No! Work! I'm using a wireless one now to decide not to work on me. And I have no batteries left. Now look, 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 Theodore is playing. Help here! 
A fire poker. The bank declares it's my soul of what you forced me to do. I am warning you, I am an agent of the judicial police and die. Quick time then. Robert's going to do something very nice. You pretty much just have to dodge. What's up with that? It would seem God's hand is fallible. It's going to take a lot more than that to stop him. Let's get this ballista piece to the elevator. There's pretty much three places you're going to be attacked, so... The next part is you want to go to Percival's room. And you're going to be attacked again. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of startled me. <laughs> you just don't give up, do you? You will not displace our faith. God's hands are upon you, killers. Like you displace Sister Sandrine? Is life not sacred to your religion? She was working against God. She scorned the work of Manu's day, as did the Seneschal and that lying worm they called their Grandmaster. No! You! Where you go, Sophie? I know how I jumped on his back. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Right. I'm rather slow because I always scare me to press the wrong button. That wasn't smart. I'm sorry. Let's get this ballista piece to the elevator. That monster's range is endless. First things first, and there was no healing items. Okay, next area you have to go to is over here. You have to go to the library, you know, where we locked in that crazy freak. So isn't that smart? And the final piece, I believe, is this. Oh! You murderer! It is not murder when it is God's will. God does not suffer lies, and with their dying breaths, that is all that the Seneschal could speak. God will suffer your lies no more. Murder is the greatest sin, no matter what the reason. The teacher is wise. He knows what evils are necessary for good to be achieved. Teacher? Teacher. Someone told this man to kill my grandfather. We must find out who. That bookcase isn't going to stop him. Let's get the last piece of the ballista into the elevator. And that now is just a walk, walk, cutscene. See, that's the end of this chapter. Can I just let it play? Second thought, we're going to stop it here and we'll continue it after. So, 